is the M1A still the king in the ring in Escape from Tarkov and why is this weapon so powerful, especially for solo players? That's the topic of today's video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I'm going to show you one of the best guns, especially for solo players and of course I will have a meta build for you guys out there. So grab a drink or two and let's start with the M1A meta build. I am playing a full recoil M1A meta build to have better ergonomics for semi-automatic fire weapons in Escape from Tarkov is in my opinion not that recommended. There is only one situation where more ergonomics is better than more recoil reduction. If you are able to one tap every enemy in the head you are maybe the best player in Escape from Tarkov right now and you don't have to watch my videos of course but if you are able to one tap everything more ergo is good because you are a little bit higher in your ADS with more ergo but you have to have the capability to click as fast as you can without worrying about the recoil and you only can achieve that with a very low vertical or a recoil in general. So in my opinion to compete with this fully automatic meta right now you have to have semi-automatic firing guns in a good caliber and you can shoot M62 with the M1A which is one of the best calibers right now in Escape from Tarkov in my opinion and that means you have to be able to click like a sidekick and that's why in my opinion a low recoil for semi-automatic guns is so important. That's my idea behind this build and that's why this build is also so strong as a solo player. On the left side we have the stock M1A and in my opinion there is only one way to play a proper meta M1A build and you need the SASS stock and to build a build around this SASS stock. If you can't afford this M1A build but you want to shoot some M62 rounds you should consider playing the MDR or the RFB. As you can see my M1A meta build is not suppressed and that's a big mistake to suppress your M1A because with a suppressor your M1A has more recoil and worse ergonomics. And it's also important to use the hydraulic buffer tube. You can also use an advanced buffer tube if you want. If you want to have a little bit more ergo, of course you can change the RK2 grip to the shift grip or you can change the PRS stock to the MOE stock. So overall this build will cost you 180 to 200k. It really depends on your magazines, your ammo and sight of course. So in terms of the ammunition, even M80 is not that bad because you have a really high firepower with the M1A. With my build you can click very very fast, you can play 30 or even 50 round max. So you can definitely play M80 because it's really cheap right now. And another tip for M80, don't buy M80 rounds during the weekend. Under the weekend you can get M80 for 300 to 800 ruble. And of course you should consider playing M61. You can get down every enemy really really quick with M61. And of course we have M993. In my opinion M993 is a little bit over the top. That means you have a really high penetration, a little bit less damage compared to M61. But I don't think we need this extra more penetration because M61 is doing a really great job. Of course you can play and try that out. For me M61 is doing the job. You can play M993, but I would rather sell it because it's worth a lot. Let's talk about the magazines real quick. We have 20, 30 and 50 round mags. The 20 round mag is not that bad, only minus 3 ergonomics. But my go-to magazine is the 30 round magazine because only minus 6 ergo. But on top of that I have one or two 50 round mags in my gamma container. Because if I have a really intense situation, a lot of enemies like radar, scav bosses or a big squad, I'm going to put out my 50 round mag out of my gamma container, but you don't have to walk around with your 50 mag all the time. In terms of sights you can play it with an EOTech or PKO6 but of course you can also use it on woods or reserve for some long range shots with a Welday or Voodoo. Let's talk about the recoil. In Tarkov we don't have this basic recoil pattern but of course I want to show you a comparison between no recoil control and recoil control with your mouse. Let's start 30 rounds no recoil control. And as you can see, even without a recoil control, let's compare it with some recoil control. So what is my summary about this meta build? How should you play it? The M1A is so strong as a solo player because you can get down your enemies really quick. With a Ersas or MDR you only have the 20 round mix. 
The Arisas is one of my most favorite weapons in Escape from Tarkov, but with the M1A you have 30 or even 50 round max. That means you don't have to reload that much and you can put down some squads really fast. On top of that you have a psychological advantage because this weapon is loud, it sounds very brutal, you have this big muzzle flash and all of that is important because your enemies are going to panic and you want that because if your enemies are panicking they do not know what they are doing right now, their movement is a little bit sloppy and all of that stuff and that's really perfect for a medium or very aggressive playstyle. If you're facing squads don't hide because most of your opponents are not playing like a squad should. It's most likely that you're facing every enemy by its own. It's more like facing three single opponents in a very short time, but with your M1A and some proper ammunition, you can get them down real quick. And that's perfect for a low recoil build because you will stay on target, you can switch your target really quick and you don't have to worry about your shots. In the end I have to say that I underestimated this M1A build in the current meta because as a solo player or sometimes duo this build will do a lot of damage. You should try that out. What do you think about this M1A build? Type it into the comment section below and don't forget guys like this video to show the world we Germans cannot win least something and if it's your like it's a very big support and I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video guys.